From a group of eight people, you randomly select four of them. What is the probability that they are the four oldest people from the group of eight? And we're asked to give the answer as a fraction. So to find the probability of this occurring, we want to compare the favorable number of outcomes to the total number of outcomes. Let's begin by determining the total number of outcomes, which will be the number of ways we can select four people from a group of eight. So the probability of selecting the oldest group is equal to the number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of total outcomes. And again, the total outcomes is the number of ways of selecting four people from eight. Before we answer this though, we do want to determine if the order matters. So for example, if these are the eight people and we select these four as a group of four, if we change the order of these four people, does it change the group? And the answer is no, and therefore the order does not matter. So we'll use a combination to determine how many groups of four we can form from eight people. That would be the number of combinations of eight people taken four at a time. And again, the numerator is going to be the favorable number of outcomes, or the favorable ways of selecting a group of four that contains the four oldest people from the larger group. And since all the groups are unique, there's only one group that would contain the four oldest people. So there's only one favorable way of selecting a group of four that would consist of the four oldest people. So now we need to evaluate eight choose four. Let's go ahead and do this down here. For eight choose four, looking at our formula, if needed, n equals eight, r equals four. So we'd have eight factorial divided by n minus r factorial times r factorial. n minus r is eight minus four, so we have four factorial times four factorial. Now simplifying here, let's begin to expand eight factorial. Noticing we have four factorials in the denominator, so let's write eight factorial as eight times seven times six times five times four factorial divided by four factorial times four factorial. In this form, notice how four factorial divided by four factorial simplifies to one. And now we'll expand this four factorial and simplify again. We would have eight times seven times six times five divided by four times three times two times one. So now we'll simplify. Notice three times two is six. So we have six divided by six, that simplifies to one. Eight and four share a common factor of four. There's one four and four, and two four is an eight. So this simplifies to two times seven times five, which equals 70. So the probability of selecting a group of four that would be the four oldest people from the larger group would be one seventieth. Now before we go, let's first check our combination on the graphing calculator, and then we'll also express our probability as a decimal and a percentage. I know our question only asks for the fraction, but many times probability is expressed as a decimal or percentage. So first to check our combination here, we enter eight, math, right arrow to probability. Notice option three is for combination, so we press three. Now we enter R, which is four, and then enter. So this verifies we evaluated the combination correctly. So now let's convert our probability of one seventieth to a decimal. So one divided by seventy. This is why it's always better to give the exact probability as a fraction. In decimal form, we'll have to round. Let's go ahead and round to four decimal places. So we'd have point zero one four three. So this is approximately zero point zero one four three. To convert to a percentage, we multiply by one hundred, remove the decimal point to the right two places, and then add a percent sign, so the probability is approximately one point four three percent. But again, for our homework, they only ask for the probability as a fraction. I hope you found this helpful.